Third time's the charm. System crashed, and then... <laughs> yeah, third time's the charm. I, the system crashed the first time, second time I didn't have my mic on. It's great. Um, so anyway, third time's the charm. So summation, Ryan Binkley um, has a fairly bipartisan immigration policy. Um, I think illegal immigrants had to pay a fee of five grand, which I think is a bit high. Um, but... I mean, for the most part, they would allow them to obtain citizenship, so that's a step in the direction from something like Trump. He's a big... He shits on Trump a lot. Um, big on, like, reducing national budget. I mean, otherwise, it's kind of hard to find a lot of specific stuff on policy implementation. Um, if you have a good source for him, let me know, but I'm generally not a big fan, really. Um, Doug is who we were looking into next. Now, he's an entrepreneur, all that good stuff. Um, yeah. Energy supports the fossil fuel industry, which is, well, I mean, which he does sign, he does, like, he says, but he also signed a bill to create clean energy, sustainable for the state of, for the state on April 26th. Um, so it does seem like he has some concept of, <laughs> some concept of environmental consideration. Um, this is hard. The total ban on abortion in North Dakota, that's really hard. Um, yeah, I mean... I wish there was more on this, um, because, I mean, yeah, like, I get, yeah, I just wish there was more on that is all, um, but the border is not fun, that's for sure, um, LGBT rights, that's right, so, I mean, he called the Republican platform divisive and divisional, which is cool, but, I mean, anti-trans laws, in a near total ban on gender affirming care for minors, that's just fucked. I mean, I reacted to a video not that long ago where science pretty vehemently establishes so far, and I get it's all new because it is new, um, but we're in a situation where trans people are people who don't know who they are. They have a hard time with their identity. Thus, what can we do to help them with their identity so that they feel more at home in their body and in the world? And a lot of it is gender affirming care using the correct pronouns for them that they want and also letting them wear clothes and things that are more synonymous with their identifiable gender um with this said when you get dumb questions from matt walsh like oh what is a woman like this might be interesting on like a philosophical note but when it comes to healthcare, like asking people to answer oh it's definitely this or definitely that like that could be harmful to someone who is incurring a lot of stress, whether it be suicide considerations or bullying or anxiety. I mean, there's a ton of shit that these people have to put up with. And it's really tragic, especially when it comes to minors. So, I mean, things are getting better, but it's slow. And on top of that, we don't want them to play sports, even though that... I mean, I, I get that's cause for consideration. I mean, for the most part, it seems like in really rare cases is where it's actually a problem. Like, typically in high-level female sports, perhaps maybe college or professional, um, you know, and you have situations with like Fallon Fox or perhaps um, Leah Thomas. Um, but one thing is if you let people transition earlier, like before puberty, then they would have a more similar body to the gender sport that they're in. Um, and that would help them, that would just help it be more fair. <laughs> but at the same time, it, it's kind of hard to argue that a lot of these trans men have completely superior physical characteristics to all women in that type of sport. So, um, and trans people, from my understanding, they aren't generally winning. I mean, it, it, it's really just like, if it's, it's hard to say that, oh, we're going to make you trans, or we're going to allow you to be trans, but then we're not going to let you contribute to society like everybody else. It's, it's, it's biased, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Um, but I also get, like, the conservative woman. I don't think it necessarily comes from a bad place, but at the same time, I, there does seem to be, like, a, a heavy focus from conservative media on why trans people are the bane of reality, you know? <laughs> so I don't, I don't think that's helpful at all. I, but I, I do think you should have those discussions, and they can often be very complicated. So anyway, um, how long have I been going here? <laughs> All right, so, yeah, okay, anti-trans laws, uh, CRT banning CRT in K-12 schools. Like I said, it's not really taught um, 
it's it's just downstream ideas from it that are uh, endorse Trump, which means I'm definitely not voting for you in any capacity. Um, yeah. We're going to sign numerous laws to cut taxes, which I'm probably for more taxation. I, I used to be very anti, um, but yeah, I don't know. I've reconsidered a lot of my views as of recent. I'm still kind of figuring it out little by little. Um, I mean, other than that, yeah, I don't really like you that much. I mean, not the worst. Definitely not the best. So anyway, let's do one more. Chris Christie, you're fun. And Chris Christie has a lot. If you're from New Jersey and you have like really strong opinions on this guy, um, like I'd love to learn and know kind of what the perspective of him is. I mean, he's Republican. He kind of had like in my last recording, I would have said that he's basically epistemologically completely different to me, but it does seem like he's very, like a lot of his policies aren't horrible. <laughs> I mean, like, they're not great, but, I mean, they're better than a lot of Republicans. Um, so, I mean, I guess that's fine. Like, he was, like, anti-gay or something, and then he basically, like, even though he was anti, he opposed same-sex. Uh, where is it here? Um, come on. Uh, you know, yeah, I mean, I'm for higher minimum wage, but I mean, that's just a whole different discussion and I get it's different per state. So, and I'm not from New Jersey, so I probably am removed from that conversation a little bit, but yeah, if there's something, like I said, if there's someone who has a strong opinion on it and you have some good argument, like please put it in the comments or shoot me a link or something that I can operate off of. Um... Need to secure the border, which is good. Um, critical about ooh. Uh, to deputize selected state and local law enforcement officers to enforce federal immigration law. Allows the DHS and law enforcement agencies to make agreements, which require the state and local officers to receive training and work under supervision of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. That's interesting. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, yeah, see, it's the stuff. It's like he, as Governor Christie, opposed same-sex marriage. But if you come down here and for his 2024 stuff, I mean, Christie's campaign said that the former governor currently respects same-sex marriage and because it's legally settled. Okay, like, you know, that, that's good. I mean, uh, abortion. I mean, he had vetoed... Planned Parenthood five times as governor, which is kind of like, eh. Um, yeah. Which, I'm pretty set on abortion, I think, for the most part. It's largely pragmatism that wins over it for me. Um, I mean, there's some philosophical conjecture that you can get into, which I'm happy to. I don't mind it. Um, but I think out of the like two definitions for life and out of just a general policy for rights and legalization, I think it's fairly settled. So, um, I wish, I mean, he signed bills for p children to use medical cannabis, which is cool, I guess. I mean, I wish he was probably a little bit more, yeah, like the gateway drug stuff is stupid. I mean, I just wish he was a bit more lenient on it. So, um, It's good that he believes that they're important, I guess. Gun rights. Like, there's a lot on this map. <laughs> uh, each state has the right to determine firearm laws without federal interference. He's leaving it up to the state, basically. Yeah, I mean, I'm for generally for stricter gun control. Um, same legislation. Yeah, so I mean, like, I'd be for something like this, um, even if it's non-common but still I'd be for something like that um yeah I'm generally for more gun control I don't know if I'd support a total gun ban um but it's certainly interesting that's for sure for sure uh Rory's tools and fares on New Jersey Turnpike
Cool. Hmm. Anything else super fun? I mean, I'm not going to go super in-depth to everything because there is a lot. Um, but I figured it would just be fun to kind of summarize some of these positions. Talk a little bit about how I feel. I mean, if there's something you want me to go into a bit more, then I definitely can. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah, I... Uh, and that's the other thing. Like, how old is he? Just curious. Sixty. Okay. He's not. Yeah. Um. But anyway, no. That's that's three more. Um. As, like I said, I'm just trying to look over general policies for each person. I mean, I don't really like any of them. I'd say probably out of them all, <laughs> he's probably my favorite of the three. Um, but yeah, I mean, gosh, we're going to get into Ron DeSantis, Larry Elder, and Nikki Haley next, so it should be fun. Um, but yeah, no, if you have any questions or would like me to go into depth or hover over something a bit longer, perhaps have a bit more of a formatted procedure for checking out some of these policies, I kind of just look for stuff that's sticking out and is, for the most part, objectionable, I suppose. Um, but it's it's still good to get to know anything about them. If there's a particular topic you're interested in, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you.